wallpaper patterns. Hey, it's Luna. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing something really exciting. I have two big boxes here and today we're doing another stories haul. So I first went to the website to get some basics for winter because I really love another stories for their basics. And then I uh, kind of went back because I noticed they had a lot of good party wear as well. So this haul will be a combination of some fun party wear pieces as well as some good basics. So let's get going. Let's see if there's something good in this selection that I picked up. This top caught my attention for a few reasons. First of all, the buttons are these little silver for ladybugs I will show you a zoom in clip but it's so incredibly cute I think it's such a fun design detail and in spite of them being a bit of a different shape I don't have that much difficulty with closing and opening the buttons which is great what I really love about all the basics I seem to have bought from another stories is that they don't all have just long enough sleeves but also that they're long enough on the length because how often nowadays do you find something that's just cropped or just just not long enough it's just a little bit short this one is long. The reason why I was so intrigued by this is because on the website they wore it like this but they also closed the ladybugs and created a turtleneck and I love clothing pieces that have versatility so if I could wear it like this and as a turtleneck and maybe even as a cardigan if I wanted to yeah and then I have like three pieces in one which is a win for me. Now all the ladybugs have been done up to create a turtleneck situation and I love it. Also just the fact that I could just wear it like this when I'm cold and then if it gets hotter during the day I can just open and let the neck breathe or the other way around if I should go outside and I feel like oh I'm kind of cold I don't have a scarf with me and just create a turtleneck like that. I think this is so fun. I really love simple but fun design details like this. Yeah this is obviously a definite keeper for me. I cannot wait to wear this. If you're seeing this dress and thinking Luna this dress looks a little familiar you're absolutely right because I bought this in purple I think last year. I filmed an another stories come shopping with me and haul and I had this one in purple. I still have it. I'm quite sure that I said in that video that if anyone from another stories was watching that video that I needed to bring back the red one because it was fully sold out and I missed out on it. So another stories if someone is watching it from another stories please bring the red one back. And now it's back. So either someone has watched or they just had the glorious idea to bring this one back. And yes, the fabric is still as soft as all the other ones. This dress actually comes in a variety of colors. I even tried on a pink one in another, another stories come shopping with me that I filmed. But the red one is really good. I love wearing red so much. I will be keeping this. And this is great for the party wear season, of course. Whether it's Christmas or New Year's or just like me, if you're going out somewhere, you really like dressing up in a splash of red. This is the dress. I also really want to try to add a belt to this dress to see if I could juice it up a little bit more. You know that I love adding a belt to pretty much any outfit. And I think this works quite well. It doesn't need a belt, but it can work with a belt. <laughs> I need to have word with the team from Another Stories because one of you must be watching my videos because how big are the coincidences right now? I can't believe this. So the red dress that I tried on previously is one that I said in my videos that I wanted them to bring back because I thought it was such a good one. And then in another video where I tried on this floral poofy dress, I said that I would love this dress if it was available in black. I wish though that this came in black. And what am I wearing? That particular poofy dress that now is available in black. So, okay, is this just a coincidence or are we just on the same wavelength with this? I'm not sure. But of course, I had to try the black one because I told you that I wanted to try it if it ever existed. And now it does. I really love the neckline, love the way that it kind of cinches in at the waist and then flares out beautifully. Also, this fabric holds its shape very well. I just pulled it out of the box like this. So the fact that it just came out of the box like this is incredible, especially since it had been in there for a few days. I'm very happy that they decided to bring this out in black as well. I tried to judge it up a little bit more. It definitely didn't need that. It's already beautiful on its own. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't have guessed that if I hadn't tried on the other dress before that this would be from another stories if I saw someone wearing it just because the drama, the volume, the poofiness just really reminds me more of actually more party wear brands, more occasion wear brands and just another story. I was so excited, <laughs> so excited to get this top, to try it on and I thought, I did my color analysis, silver is going to look so good on me and I love the top, that's not the issue, it's the sizing that's an issue. This is a European size 34 it's, I am, I'm squeezed into this. Oh my god, I cannot breathe. <laughs> 
I am wearing a bra without padding. If I were wearing a bra with padding or a push-up bra, it was over. I wouldn't be able to close the zipper. So I normally always get a European size 34 in another stories, and I did with this as well, but this is just too small, and I'm kind of wondering if, it is, if this is going to be a reoccurring theme, because this one is from the Savoir collection from another stories. It's their collection that focuses on craftsmanship and whatnot. And it's just too small. I think I'm just gonna size up in this because I do want to try it again. I just think it's gorgeous. So if you want to order this, I would recommend sizing up because it's it's so incredibly tight fitting. And like I said, I, I have, don't have any issues with the other pieces that I got from the normal collection. The 34 was fine. I'm really squeezed into this, but I got another layer of fabric under this top. But this is what I want to show you, styling-wise, that I thought would be fun to do. Because I really love layering these kind of bralette-esque tops over a blouse, over a transparent top, because I think it really elevates an outfit. I really love playing with layering, and this is a really good one for that. So I definitely will be getting the size up because I do think it's gorgeous. I really love the silver. Also, I did my color analysis with ChatGPT, and silver is apparently a color that really works for me quite well. So that's why I was so excited to try it. So unfortunately, sizing-wise, size up in the Savoir collection. But other than that, I do think it's really gorgeous. And look how cool it is styled like this. I think it's so fun. Oh. The blazer and the pants are both from the Savoir collection and I quite like the way that this looks. I really love this kind of satiny fabric. I think it always works really well on me for some reason. I feel like it really works with my with my purse. <laughs> but the pants, I would prefer sizing up in the pants just like with everything in the Savoir collection. However, the blazer is kind of not really needed because it's so oversized. There's so much room um, over the chest area. It is extremely, extremely comfortable. I'm also just only wearing a bra under this blazer currently and the fabric feels so nice and soft and I could really be cozy in this and chic at the same time, which is very fun. I honestly think that for this oversized blazer it's really good that we have a bit of a structured shoulder going on because it gives a bit of structure back into the garment because something that's loose and oversized can feel a bit like a lot sometimes, like a lot of fabric, like you're drowning in it. And with this one, it's not the case because of the design details, because of the tie at the waist, because of the shoulder padding. It really balances out the proportions quite well of the garment. I also really love that the buttons are the same fabric as the, as the jacket. I find that it's really good. Really, really good. I find this is a really good piece. I would opt for my own belt instead of a fabric belt because I just find that elevates the garment a little bit more because a fabric belt, there's nothing wrong with it, but if you want to go full on out. I would opt for just pick your own belt with this. Let me let me try that. <laughs> I mean, come on. How chic does this look? I feel like adding a silver belt, adding anything silver jewelry always gives me a bit more of an edgy vibe, whereas adding gold feels a bit more elegant and sophisticated, but both of them would be really good. Silver, gold, something else. Adding a belt to this? Honestly, I think that this suit is such a gem. I really always love it when women wear suits. I find it so cool and so interesting looking. We don't do it enough, but we should wear more suits. If you're curious what the blazer looks like when it's worn open, this is it. I mean, how cool does this look? I didn't think I would like this set as much as I do. I feel so cool in this. I feel... I don't know why, I just feel like I can take on the world right now just because I'm wearing a suit. That's that's incredible, isn't it? I really want to show you how it looks like open as well because I know some people just prefer having them a bit open. So yeah, that's how that looks. I'm just thinking about what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna return because I really didn't expect to love this as much as I do. I thought I would like it. But now I'm wearing it, I'm playing with it. That's always the dangerous thing, isn't it? The moment you start playing with it, you're you're sold and this is so this is really good. So the pants I would need to size up in, but these are really nice. I do quite like them as a set though. The fabrics together. Yeah, it's it's gorgeous. I'm just gonna keep posing it as I think for like five minutes to just kind of feed my ego. <laughs> After I had a very, very rough month. I honestly always find another story is quite good, but in the fall, winter, it's really when they drive. And this 
sweater for me really takes the cake on that and it's such a simple sweater you might be like okay Luna what's what's so interesting about this sweater this is just this is how you do it this is how you do a fall winter clothing staple this sweater is 100% wool it has a bit of shoulder padding which I like because it gives a bit more structure because a sweater can often be almost slouchy feeling and looking but this one doesn't this one just is beautiful in its shape this feels elegant almost it feels knitwear but in a chic way i have been spending my hard-earned money on another story sweaters for years and they always stand the test of time i actually have more colorful ones as well from another stories i only have one big black one so i felt like i was in due for another one i always gravitate for another stories knitwear maybe there's some other brands that do them great as well but i find their price quality ratio really good also because not everything is full on 100% natural fibers in their collection, but quite a lot is if you look at their details. And this one is, this one is 100% wool and I love this. I think this is so great. I am going to keep this of course. And I cannot wait to wear this because we are going to have some very cold weeks ahead of us. So this is just here right on time. This top is really simple, but the fit just works really well. And I think this is gorgeous, but I was wondering if it's a bit too simple to show some basic I thought, you know, maybe you want to see something a bit more spectacular, but I feel like this haul is a good combination of some building blocks, some basics, as well as some fun party wear options. But I do quite like seeing the basics as well because they're the building blocks. It's most often what you wear the most anyway. I really love finding good quality staples for the wardrobe, and this one definitely feels like a good one. I really think this is such a soft fabric. It feels almost quite cooling on the skin in a weird way, but not like I'm cold. I just don't know how to describe the feeling of this fabric. It's really, really soft. This one isn't natural fibers, if I remember correctly, but I do quite like the fit of this. It's almost like this bit of draping has going on. If you find a good fitting basic, you don't need much to make the outfit work because I'm not even wearing much right now. I normally would wear a necklace on this and a belt and then I feel people already call me overdressed. It's just because I'm wearing good, good staples. I'm just wearing well-fitting staples that look good and look yeah, good on their own. And that's how you just build a very simple yet efficient outfit. So it's really in the, in the in the key pieces to find them right. I also always love a mock neck situation. I think knowing what kind of necklines enhance your features is also really good to know. For me, I really like how I look with mock necks, turtlenecks and square necks. Those are my favorite necklines for me. And this one really, this is just really good. I can yap about this top for another five minutes, but it's just a really good basic. It's comfy. And that's, I like comfy and chic, by the way, if I recommend something, it's gotta be both comfy and chic because I cannot do uncomfortable. I cannot deal with that, I have so sensitive skin, so yes, this is, this is a good staple, this will be kept for sure. This top is another gorgeous top from the Savoir collection, but unfortunately, just like the other one, this also runs too small, and I do think it's gorgeous. We have this kind of flower-ish 3D detailing, also we have this little... I want to say cape, but I don't know how to call this, this little train on the side. It's really gorgeous. I do think it's stunning. The fabric feels great. I would also style this as an extra styling option with a white blouse underneath because that's kind of my party trick or indeed a black long sleeve sheer top or even a colorful one. There's like options for styling. The reason that I'm mentioning the styling options with wearing a white blouse underneath or even like a, just a transparent top is because I think these pieces are gorgeous in itself so you don't really need it but I also think it's great to kind of think about what other things we can do with our clothing pieces to get the most wear out of them and just get the most versatility and styling options out of them and that's really how you curate a good wardrobe. So I do think this is gorgeous. I would need to size up because it currently is kind of my blood circulation over here which isn't great. To me the power of this stuff really is in the fact that it can make a normal clothing garment look very special. I'm wearing just my daily trousers and adding this top really gives it the party wear effect. Even wearing just a shorter skirt or a long skirt, just full on going black, will just elevate this in, in a really beautiful way and really give 
your normal clothes and extra purpose of wear by just combining it with a more special piece. I already have three black turtlenecks and even though I live in them I didn't really need another one in the sense that I have three of them but this one is different because this one is 100% natural fibers and I was really looking for a turtleneck with natural fibers because I've been getting sweaty a lot faster lately than I have before because I'm outside I've been packed in layers because it's cold outside and then I'm walking around I'm getting really hot and and bothered because of the, my layers and then I suddenly enter indoors where the heat is blasting and then I just need to take my layers off. It is a different type of sweaty than when you're working out or something and you're kind of sweaty and smelly. It's more of like feeling this kind of cold sweat from, from indoors, outdoors, wearing layers and all of my other turtlenecks are not natural fiber so I thought maybe that has something to do with that. So let me get a 100% natural fiber turtleneck so my body can breathe a bit more. So. That's why I got this one. It's a really good one too. It's long sleeve, which we love to see. I have quite long arms, so if the sleeves are long for me, they're gonna be long enough for you. The only thing that I had to do with this is I had to wear a black tank top underneath because otherwise it is a little bit sheer. Personally, that doesn't really bother me because for me a turtleneck is mainly a layering portion in winter, but if you do want to wear it just out and about, just you need to wear something underneath just to be safe. But yeah, this is just a black turtleneck. It's nothing crazy, but I find that the price quality ratio for this one is really good because it's really difficult sometimes to find something with natural fibers that also doesn't break the bank. And I think another store is really good at that. I find they have quite good option for natural fibers and also just a good price attached to that. So. This is the turtleneck in question. Another piece from the Savoir collection and this time we have this peplum top and I knew <laughs> that I shouldn't have ordered this one for the reason that I did my color analysis and it basically indeed said like gold isn't your best color and I already noticed that quite often quite a yellow gold wasn't the best for my skin tone and what does this top look like? <laughs> A yellow gold but I was so curious about the shape about the way it would look I thought if I'm doing an another stories haul and kind of review of the collection that I bought might as well add this one in the mix because it's such a fun piece it looks really cool and yeah that's uh, why I got it even though if I knew this wasn't gonna be my perfect color I love the shape that it creates I really like this kind of I don't know how to call it baroque-ish wallpaper pattern? <laughs> I don't know how to describe this. But if I would wear this to a Christmas party in my right size, in a size up, I think it would be very comfortable because if you're kind of bloated, you won't see it. So you can have all the goodies from the treats in the party wear season without having to think about having a bit of a bloat. So not that that matters, but sometimes we are self-conscious about being bloated even if we shouldn't be. So this, this wouldn't be an issue with this top, so I really, really like this top. It really emphasizes beautifully the waist and then flares out. This definitely is a bit more of the 2010s, I think. Peplum silhouette that we haven't seen in quite a while. Peplum silhouettes are back. If you see my trend report, you know this. But um, we've seen them more in a, in a more streamlined, kind of tailored blazer way, not in this typical way, but it's kind of nice to see it again. I definitely think this is a flattering shape for so many people and yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. I do think the reflection of this will be so fun to take photos in as well for the party wear season. Since this color isn't the best color on me, I thought let's try my own tricks and put something near my face that's a better color for me, which is of course black. And I quite like the idea of this. If you think that this color suits your skin tone, give it a go because it is a really fun piece nonetheless. Or even if you have a darker skin tone, I think this also may look really beautiful on you a lot better than on this uh, pasty white ghost at least. <laughs> and those were all the pieces from the haul. I really want to thank you so much for watching. Let me know which one of these pieces was your favorite in the comments down below. And also don't forget to subscribe because I would love to have you back. I really hope you're doing well and I hope to see you again very soon. Bye bye!